Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. Um, I hope this finds you well, having had a, a good start to your work week. Um, sorry about the little owie. I burnt my hand on the oven last night, um, and it's looking kind of ugly. Anyway, and had to chop my nails off, so short, stubby, ugly hands now. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around a spell. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button, ding the bell next door if you get notifications of future videos. Thumbs up, likes are always appreciated, and any questions or comments, please leave them down below. So, this is going to be a, I think it's going to be a short video. Basically, it's just kind of, um, it's happy mail that I've been meaning to share and um, just haven't. And then um, some items, like small like items I've either done off of Amazon, AliExpress, or um, you'll see. And then two items I picked up today at Walmart. So um, we're gonna start with the, the Happy Mail. This is from um, Michelle. And she's one of my stubbies, and she sent this a while back, and I had intended to show it and just kept getting distracted, but um, she's got a card here, and cute little bunny rabbit, and I love, um, you know, the little fall, it's got a little strawberry, and then the ribbon with the pumpkins. Love your channel. I found some cruise goodies and wanted to send them your way. Hope you enjoy them, Michelle. So, and look, she's got um, pretty flamingo washi on here. So, okay. So, uh, these are, I've, I've picked up some of these cats um, whenever I see them at my store, but I haven't seen them in a while. Um, but I love these cats. They're so adorable. So thank you, Michelle. I love them. Then um, this adorable little um, pocket notebook with the cats. Chase and Sanborn Porters of Tea and Coffee. Okay. And then just cute little kitties on the paper. So great to have on hand if you're out and about and got to take some notes. And I have not seen this at my Dollar Tree. Um, you know if I had, I would have picked these little guys up. But uh, super cute little sticky notes in the shape of a kitty cat. And Karma was just at my feet. Where are you at, little girl? Oh, no, that's mustache. Karma! Come here, baby. Y'all, she's everyone wants to see her. The thing is, she's gotten so big now that... Um, it doesn't really fit on the desk anymore. Come here, baby. I'll, I'll get over here in a minute. So, I love this one here. Um, I have to see. I don't know if this will go on my car. I'll have to check it out, but I love that. Bon voyage. I have um, a big cruise. I'll have to show it sometime. It's on the back of my car in the center, like top window. Can't miss it. But um, I call it my my whale tail. Um, Carnival, their, their smokestacks are in the shape of this tail. And it's their colors. And that's what's on the back of my car. But I know it makes no sense to some people. Other will know exactly what I'm talking about. So love that. And then, I love this. I picked these up once, I believe, at Joann's. Yeah. And I think I only got, like, one of them. Is she here? Are you here? No. Mustache is chasing her out of the room. So, let's, let's take a peek. So, it looks like these are all stickers. So of course, the Awesome Flamingo. Amazing Pineapple. Got some little tropical palm fronds, sunshine, vacation, some ferns, a toucan, a watermelon, and some more ferns. So, love this. These will definitely get put put to use um, somewhere, if not in a planner or a scrapbook. Oh, come on now. 
So we'll just stick those there for now. And then I don't think I picked this one up. So it looks like it's called Key Lime. So I might have to try and hunt this paper collection down because I haven't seen it. And of course it's right up my alley. Greetings from Paradise, Bon Voyage, A Room with a View. And then you got your little, um, kind of looks like a movie strip. You got your ship's helm there. So love that. And I love these. I think I've picked one of these up. Um, but I have multiple albums, so I can definitely use these. Or use them to like make decorations for the next cruise. Oh, oh, yes. Especially since there's three. So there's that. And... This is one of my favorite collections out there, and it's not easy to find all the pieces to it. Um, especially the paper is really hard to find for this particular collection, but I love any enamel um, elements in paper collections, so love this. Thank you so much, Michelle. And then another uh, cruising set. Love this. So on Carnival, like this right here, um, would would come up and then it would like fork out. Kind of goes like this and then the smokestack split out and out the side and it's red, white, and blue. Um, so really awesome. So love that. And we have some mini notebooks. So I could probably stick this in a tin and Amazing Flamingos. Yay! So thank you, Miss Michelle. I love it all. Especially the super cute little card. I'm going to stick this up on my desk so I can look at him. Now, I guess we'll go ahead and get to Walmart since we're on a little flamingo kick here. Um, stick that off to the side. So I saw this as I was walking past the stationery, and it was at the end of the aisle, so I'm surprised I, you know, I saw it and I was walking fast. But of course, like I need another notebook, but just a lined magnetic closure notebook. It was only like not even quite three dollars, so he had to come home with me. So there's that, and then this. Some, some of y'all are going to look at this and go, why did you buy that for the craft room? First off, I love the colors in this. This right here, this blue is my favorite color blue. Hands down, period. I think it's just gorgeous. But the reason why I picked it up is, one, the blue. Two, it is super pretty. And three, um, I can put it up on my desk um, when I'm doing like cards and like there's tons of like little cutout pieces and I can just, um, here we'll, we'll open it all the way up. And so I can just put little elements in each little area. So, um, this is for my craft room, not for eggs. Um, I use the container, container store egg holders in my fridge so so there is that next um i ordered this on amazon and this is an escoda um prado um it's a synthetic uh watercolor paintbrush a number four and escoda is supposed to be a a fairly um decent quality uh, paint um, brand that I mean some of them can break the bank some of them are really expensive but I think this was like 15 and yeah so this is my I think this is my first Escoda it might be I think my actually I think my first one might be a travel I'll have to look but um, I decided to pick one of these up and give it a try Next, y'all know my love for House Mouse, and this is one I've been looking for for a long time. Um, 
this is it is used yes um, I ordered it off of Amazon and I almost had it before and somebody swept in and outbid me but see how it says up there Stampa Rosa um, Stampa Rosa was the original store in California in Santa Rosa California that carried the house mouse line and this is back when it was um, it was its own brand. It wasn't owned by Stampendous or, you know, marketed by any other uh, brand out there. And this is labeled number one, Pogo Stamp, 1998. So this one's a little dirty. I got to do a little clean it up on it, but I was so happy to finally get this stamp. This is one I've been trying to get for a couple years. And then, um, from Etsy, I, um, bought this cling rubber, cling rubber stamp, and this one is, see, um, original ones have the, their names, and so this is Monica, so I think the ones that we're seeing in, do mm -hmm. in Tuesday morning are reproductions, and so they don't include the names of the mice. So, but this one's called Helium Ride. And so I had to get that one. And this one came from, it's called Crystal Space for Scrap Etsy.com. So that is the Etsy shop that I bought that from. And she included some ephemera. And some sequins. I think this will be fun for like uh, some kind of Christmas sequin shaker or something. Add a little extra. I'm not going to open it up because I don't want stuff all over the desk. So there's that. Let's see. Making sure I'm not. Okay. These. Um, there's quite a few out there. These are some Christmas ones. And um, ordered these from an Etsy shop. Um, the Etsy is called Small Crown Shop. So right here. And these are vintage um, house mouse magnets. And... Um, I know some of y'all have seen some of these in the recent stamp releases that we're seeing at Tuesday morning. Um, but I love, they're beautifully colored. Um, I know y'all have seen this one in some of the recent hauls. And I decided I'm going to add a, a magnetic board here on the wall somewhere so I can start hanging some of my magnets. So I think that's so adorable. This, I know, was um, some favorites of a lot of people. The reindeer sleigh, the reindeer pulling the little, the little one. So there's that. And then the last one. I thought that was so cute. So there's those. And there's a couple more sets out there that I'm, I'm looking at. Um, but those are just too adorable. And then, um, another Etsy purchase I made, uh, for cruising, of course, I ordered these from CKS Paper Design, and, uh, they included this little pouch of extra die cuts. Uh, come on. So there's a boo. Then we have Halloween, October, Haunted, and then a cute little ghost. And so I like how they kind of coordinated it with the holiday. So this kind of looks like Disney font. But um, so that was adorable and um, nice of them to include. But this is what I ordered from them. There's this large die cut of a cruise ship breaking through the waves. 
And then I ordered two of this one, um, our cruise. Um, I would have gotten more, but I just thought that would get a little redundant to see through the multiple um, scrapbooks. And then there is this one. And this one includes a cruise ship, um, the lifesaver, and an anchor. So there's that. And I, I really wanted to find the die cuts, like the, the cut file, so that I could just make my own. But, you know, it is what it is. I was happy to find those. It came well packed. Next. This I'm really excited for. This came from AliExpress. And I think I'm going to order another one. Uh, but I ordered this for the diamond painting. I figured it'd be easier to keep everything organized. But it's this little container. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to use these labels or not. But basically they're kind of like little... What's the candy? Um, why can't I think of that candy? You know, the ones you just pop out like little breath mints or whatever, and it's usually like orange or whatever. But I thought this would be nice to have on hand. Might have to be a little careful, like pulling them out, but... And I didn't pay attention to how many were in here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four times 16. So that's what? Four times 10 is 40 and six is 24. So 64. So 64 of these guys. So I figured that'd be uh, plenty to um, put all my little diamonds my little drills away, keep them organized and not have to dig through little baggies. Um, you know, it's not the most, you know, it's not a high-end container, but I mean, it keeps everything together organized and um, yeah. So there is that. I think, let me make sure. So I'm slowly like putting stuff away and yeah, so I think that's it for this little mini um, haul and uh, happy mail. Um, the last item that came in, the, the last item came in for the Arteza review um, that I'll be doing. I, I'm going to do it this coming weekend because I want to, I want to actually do a, um, a card with you guys so um, I know some of y'all are kind of like shocked because you know I rarely do um, projects with y'all but I figured um, I could do a Christmas card with y'all and at the same time we could review the items that Arteza sent and um, go from there so there's that again there's my small thrift store um, pickup that I got this week I have a Dollar Tree haul. Um, there's more. I just can't think of what everything is, and I apologize. I'm really nervous because um, tomorrow is uh, a lot of stuff's happening tomorrow. So I'm trying to get everything ready to go. And um, so hopefully I'll get to share you know, the life updates with y'all, those of you who have been waiting to hear. I should hopefully get to share with you tomorrow, if not, like I said, Wednesday. Um, and yeah, so that's it. Uh, I hope y'all had a great weekend. I hope you had a great Monday. And I should hopefully be back here tomorrow. And um, yeah, so have a good night, everybody. Love you guys to pieces. As always, happy crafting. Bye-bye.